what does everybody think on the release date for the DLC? Is it going to be December? Or are they going to hold it over until 2018? I think it's going to be 2018. They got they got Xenoblade coming out pretty soon, and not not a whole lot of time to promote Champions Ballad if it's coming out this year. So, all right. And mm. what about you, McIntyre? <clears throat> when do you think it's going to be releasing? 2018 is a respectable kind of like let's say assumption there. Um, it makes sense as we haven't really seen too much of it. Um, and I'm, I'm kind of like uh, curious about this kind of topic as well. A lot of people are saying we're going to see something in the Game Awards uh, show, which it is likely for that sort of thing to happen. And that kind of implies that maybe we'll see something around the holiday season. Uh, but typically speaking, like Nintendo likes to, let's say, reveal or let's say drop more stuff around Black Friday, and obviously that has passed. Um, and maybe they'll do something for the holiday season. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, but if they won't release it here, uh, releasing it in January or like, or it doesn't really seem, uh, maybe 2018 as in like, let's say later in spring, uh, that would make more sense to me. Um, if it's not like, let's say December of let's say this holiday season, I do find it releasing it around the spring area to be much more, uh, and from a business perspective to be much more realistic or let's say practical, but that's just my interpretation of it. All right. And what about you, Daniel? December 15th. December 15th. Ooh. I, yeah. I also oh, have so hopes. The, <clears throat> I, the I Game also Awards, have hopes for December. So The Game Awards are on the 7th of December. So they drop a quick trailer, generate hype right away, and it's out a week after that, but not too close to Christmas that it would interfere with any other Christmas bundles or sales or anything. That's my hope. Do I don't you, know for sure. Do you think kind the DLC... Right out, I don't know. Do you think the DLC is big enough for them to have their own mini direct for it? Like, do you think it would just be the trailer? Or do you think they would go to the Game Awards, mm. show, like, a short 10-second clip, and say, we'll have more information on this date? And then they have a direct on that date. I don't think they, they, they would do a date. direct... I don't think they'll do a direct, but they might do a gameplay segment because I think they did a gameplay segment for the first DLC pack. With yeah, the, they uh, they had Master Trial, where they they had the part to where they showed off uh, Link running and like the Tingle outfit and everything, and mm -hmm. then mm -hmm. they had one of their Treehouse people playing right. through the uh, Trial of the Sword. So they yeah. they did have like a lot of promotion for it. So, mm -hmm. so you know, I, that's I guess my guess. One thing working in favor of Champions Ballad coming out this year too is that I guess a lot of people have already purchased it when they purchased the expansion pack, so they wouldn't need to promote it as heavily as if it was a standalone. But mm -hmm. food for thought. True. That's true because for the first one, you have to get the hype so that people actually buy the whole pack. But since both are included already, they don't need to do as much in advance. Yeah. So that makes sense. Also, like, keep in mind, they've also, in the past, done, like, surprise releases where they're like, so by the way, Minecraft's coming to 3DS today. Like, you know, things like that. So <laughs> yeah. it's it's not too out of the ordinary for them to not, like, give any heads up about things like that. Or in directs where they've released things like, oh, and this DLC is coming out right after this direct is done. So go play it. So... <laughs> All right. Yeah. Uh, well, the videos on this channel are funded by supporters on Patreon like you. If you're a fan of this channel and would like to join on videos, receive shoutouts, watch videos early, have your questions answered, or have your topic discussed on our podcast, please consider supporting on Patreon for these and many other rewards for just one dollar. Shoutouts for this video includes Link Use the Triforce, Rusty Caulfield, Lovable Christy, Give Time 15, Shadow to Us, Robbie Morgan, and Lunarium. I want to thank all of you for everything you have done to help support this channel.